Welcome everyone, my name is Bill Kingsbury. I'm the Chief of Police of the Medway Police Department. I've been the Chief for two years. Uh, we're here today to talk about the state of the police facility here in Medway. Uh, this discussion has gone on for about four years now as, as different uh, groups have examined our building and where we stand as a facility. And the conclusion has been reached that this facility is, is obsolete at this time. It's operationally obsolete uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, this building was built in, it was opened in 1991 was planned for in the late 80s, opened in 1991. At that time, there were 15 full-time police officers here. There were five dispatchers working here. There was one female working in the building as an uh, executive assistant to the chief at that time. So when, when the station opened, the, the, the police department was, was a very basic department. It had one chief, it had four sergeants, and there, everybody else was a patrol officer. There were no specialized positions beyond a deer officer at that time who was assigned to the schools, not as an SRO, but as a DARE officer and a safety officer, and that was that specialty position. Since that time, the town has grown and the need for specialized positions has grown. Today, we are authorized 27 full-time police officers. We have seven full-time dispatchers, and we have 10 female uh, employees in this building. When the building was built, it was built with a locker room for six females. Uh, we don't have a lot of space for all the females here. Uh, which is an equity problem for us uh, moving forward because there is no room to expand on that locker room. The women's locker room. So currently we have, I want to say nine, 10, yes. It's 10 females that are in this building right now. Five of those 10 are patrol people. Um, and this is their only female bathroom and locker room. We had to build more storage for them uh, in terms of this bench here, some place to put more of their, their equipment. One of the real tough things about this is that in order to get to their shower, they actually have to walk through the actual bathroom to get to their shower. We have other issues that are operational with us is the building was built without an evidence room. Evidence is a huge issue in policing today. All I have to do is turn on the TV and you'll see how the big issue it has been in Massachusetts very recently. Uh, it was built without an evidence room. We, well, the state is pushing uh, right now to create certifications for police departments, one of which is going to be evidence and property control. We don't know what that final uh, document is going to look like or what we mandated to do, but we may not, may not be uh, able to meet those, those standards. We've, we've done a lot on this building to get us to where we can meet national standards uh, so we can have evidence in the building today, but it's not ideal and it's not going to uh, last forever. There are, there are several laws pending that are going to greatly affect our ability to, to handle evidence in this building. Uh, we have issues with our digital uh, platform in this building. This building was built prior to, prior to any digital uh, digital applications in law enforcement. There was no internet at the time. We, there wasn't a computer in the building, not a single one. Uh, since that time, you can just imagine how much uh, digital equipment has taken over in this building, and this building is, is pretty much maxed out in that area. This is our dispatch office. Uh, this has gone through one renovation, I believe, back about 14 years ago. Uh, originally, it was designed for one dispatch console on this side, and on this side of the room, we had a typewriter to do our logs back in 1991. Uh, since then, over the years, we added a second console, uh, and now we actually run two dispatches per shift on some shifts, so we need the two consoles. Uh, this room, like I said, was really designed for one person to be working in it, uh, and the equipment has drastically changed. Back when they first built it, there was no computer or anything. It was just a radio console and two phones, um, and some in-house security system cameras for our booking and sell area. You'll see this originally was designed to be the dispatch break room. It had a table where they could eat their meals and be out of the public view. And now this had to become our server room. Because there was no server room in the building. So this houses all the computer equipment for in-house for the town's video system uh, throughout the town. The server is here. And for the 911 system, the server is here. We've lost storage space to servers. We've lost uh, storage space to uh, radio equipment, to phone equipment. A big change in investigations has been the advent of the digital age. Back then there was no phones, no cell phones, no computers. 
was, there was no expertise needed in any of those areas. Today we need experts in photography, experts in crime scene processing, experts in crime scene management, experts in digital evidence. Uh, this building was not built uh, with the mindset that it was going to have to expand in these areas in the future and we, we are reaching our limits in that area. Our squad room downstairs is too small for the per personnel we have. Our classroom is too small for the personnel we have. When the building was, was built, this was going to be a classroom. This was also going to be a classroom that we could hold uh, classes from other departments, have everybody come. We would hold up to about 15 people. Now, as I said earlier, this has now become a conference room. Um, it is a classroom for smaller classes. This is where we hold our roll call now, but it's also our, our EOC. Uh, so any emergencies that come in, weather, things like that, we'll bring the entire town up here, the select people. We will run everything from, from up here. Um, this area, we need, the, the town needs a much bigger one for this. We have very little storage. We've had to build out buildings just to alleviate some of our storage issues. We cannot store records in a manner that is required by law anymore. So we have a, a lot of issues in this building that are operational for us. The building looks beautiful from the outside. It looks good from the inside. It's been maintained well. Our in-house people take care of it. Our maintenance people take care of it. The DPW does a great job taking care of this building, but it's, not, it's too small for uh, the needs of this department. It's not operational and sound. So the building, the building is, is, is remains static and the personnel has grown greatly and the responsibilities of the people in this department has grown greatly along with that. Our goal is to be the best we can be operational, operationally as we move forward in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40 years, 50 years, this town is going to grow greatly in the next decade as we all know. We all see what's coming in terms of population and, and challenges for law enforcement. To keep up with that, we need a facility that that's allows for modern policing because this town deserves it. Our, our select board, our, our town manager, they have pushed hard to, to develop this police department to where the people in Medway not only can be proud of it, can rely on it to do the best job that, they, that can be done for them. Uh, in order to, to reach those goals, to reach that point, we really need to have a facility that allows us to go beyond where we are today.